today we're going to take you along on a tour that we do every single day, sometimes twice a day, right now just once a day. We're going to take you along to milk our family milk cow. Her name is Tulip. She, we've had her for four years, I think, and she's a big part of our family. So let's go milk the cow. I start by running some warm soap, soapy water, getting the rag, and then we're just gonna go get her and wash her off and start milking. So the best part about this barn is that we have warm water in here. I, I used to have to haul it from the house. Now we can come down to the barn and do it here. So we're just gonna put some warm water in here. I put a little bit of our Ballerina Farm dish soap. It's super gentle on her teats, so we, we put that in there. And this is what we're gonna use to wash her off. In the summer, she doesn't get as dirty, but in the winter time, she likes to lay in her manure to keep warm, so she's always, she's always a mess. This is our baby donkey. Hello, turkey. He was born on Thanksgiving, so we named him turkey. Come here, buddy. He is literally the fluffiest animal, but he hates to be pet, so it's terrible. Come here, Dulip! Come here, Dulip! You can see her, she's behind that hay bale over there, and when I call for her, then she knows, she knows it's milking time. Here she comes. Good girl. It's cows, just like humans, they want to be milked. You know, they get full, they want to be relieved. So she's also gets a treat when she's milked too. So she's, she loves milking time. Come on, girl. <laughs> That's his signature move. He jumps on the fence and crows. So this is Tulip. Um, she, we got her from a commercial dairy, but she's been on our farm, like I said, for about four years. She's the calmest cow. Like I never tie her up. I rarely put her in a halter. She just kind of stands here. She's the best. She's about six months pregnant, so you can see she's got a big belly. And we will dry her up in about two months. And then she'll be dry, she'll calve, and then we'll, she'll be, they call it freshened again. So then she will have a, an abundance of milk. When she's freshened right after she calves, she gives about five gallons a day. Right now she's giving in a, ga a gallon and a half. So she's just like humans, they taper off, you know, and then when they have a baby, they get more milk. She hasn't had a calf on her for a couple years, so she's been just being, being Miss Tulip. <laughs> I love this. Okay, here we go, Tulip. Let's wash you off. Let's see how dirty you are. Not bad. She's not too bad. So this warm water wash, you know, obviously it cleans her, but it also um, signals to her that she should let down her milk. So we'll wash her and then I can feel the milk let down and then it's nice and easy flow when we milk. Hello, turkey. Oh man, she's a mess. That rooster's really going after it today. Depending on how dirty it is, I'm gonna change the water and wash her one more time. But it probably takes, that's a good portion of the milking process. It's just the, the washing, the prep. Probably about five minutes. Maybe I'll go change the water now. Don't come at me. Or you will be in the crock pot. We have to tell him who's boss around here because he thinks he's the boss. Rule number one in farming is you always shut the gate behind you or else you will have cows in the road in a matter of minutes. Okay, come on, Tulip. So we'll just do one final wash and dry her off, and we'll be ready to go. So I used to milk with the stool, but it just kind of got in the way. I also used to milk with an uh, automatic milker when we first got our milk cow, and it was also just more work than it's worth. It was heavy, you had a lot of washing to do after the process, and I just, it's so much simpler to just grab a pail and do it by hand. That's obviously if you just have one cow. If you have multiple cows, hand milking wouldn't be the answer, but one family milk cow, I think hand milking's the best. 
So you saw I just squirted, I just squirt a couple times onto the ground to make sure everything looks good. And then we start, we start milking. So Tulip is a Jersey cow. Um, the com a lot of commercial breeds will use the Holstein cows, which are the black and white cows. They're a lot bigger cow. They also produce a lot more milk. The Holstein cow will give up to 10 gallons a day, whereas Jerseys are more, or like half that. But Jersey cows, they are, their milk tastes a little bit different. In my opinion, it tastes a lot better. <laughs> um, but there are, there are gonna be some Holstein lovers out there that will argue with me. But Jersey cows, they give a lot more cream. So for a family milk cow, that's what we were looking for because I scrape the cream off every day and use it for butter and ice cream and those types of things. I haven't digested milk very well. Just growing up, like milk always kind of gave me a stomach ache. And so I started exploring raw milk. So when we lived in Brazil, when we first got married, I was always heading off to little farms to get raw milk. And so when we bought our own farm, it was one of the first animals that I wanted to get. Like I wanted to be able to drink milk again. Because with the raw milk, it doesn't hurt my stomach. The first time I milked a cow, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. There is a lot of forearm and hand strength involved. But you basically, you pinch at the top of the udder. If you can see, pinch at the top of the udder and then you squeeze all that milk out. And then you kind of have to let it recharge and then you, you squeeze. So when you're alternating, you kind of give the other teat a chance to recharge. We milked her kind of late last night, so she doesn't have a, a ton of milk right now. When Tulip calves here in four months, we will have to milk her twice a day and be pretty exact on her schedule because she's she'll be full of milk. I mean, sometimes we calf share, so we'll leave the calf on her and then we'll milk additionally, or sometimes we separate them depending on how she does with the calf and us around. Um, sometimes we just bottle feed the calf because it's easier with little kids milking because she'll get kind of protective of the calf and when I have little kids milking it's not it's not an ideal situation. So we'll see. every situation, every calving experience is different so we'll see what happens. She probably hasn't had a calf in a year. Yeah. So she's tapering off, she's giving us about a gallon and a half a day, and it doesn't really matter when we milk her in that day because she's not so full, you know, she's not going to get mastitis like she would at the beginning if, if we don't, if we aren't right on time. And at the end of milking, you can see the four quarters are kind of getting slower, but this is where the cream is. I say the more, more of the fat is at the end. So you really want to strip her out at the end to get all that cream. We always say that Tulip's superpower is that she can convert grass into milk. I mean butter. <laughs> it's the best. So we ran into the barn. We always leave maple syrup, cinnamon, and cups down the barn. So our favorite treat is to put some maple syrup, cinnamon in the bottom of a cup and then squirt right into it and drink it warm. So good. There we go. If the kids were down here, they'd be, they'd be jealous. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's literally the best thing ever. We took Tulip camping last summer. Every morning we just go out there and milk her and have these for breakfast. It was so fun. And she loved the mountains. It was actually in Brazil. We went to a dairy farm and they did this. It was so good. So I was so excited when we got our, our milk cow because I was like, I can't wait to do that. <laughs> this is the creamiest of the cream. She's literally like, can you, what are we, what are we trying to do here? So these are milk sheep. I started making cheese 
But our favorite, one of our favorite cheeses is feta cheese, which is traditionally made with sheep's milk. They're going to lamb in March. I've never milked sheep, so this will be a new adventure for us. They also say that um, raw cow's milk is, is easier to digest than commercial, like pasteurized milk. But then it goes goat's milk is e even easier to digest. And then the easiest to digest is sheep's milk. <laughs> so we're going to try that. They're very friendly little things. They are like super fluffy right now too. They're gonna be sheared before they lamb. Okay, so that is the, there's the rooster again. <laughs> that is the milking process for family milk cow. I'm gonna take this milk inside and strain it with a cheesecloth just to get any hay or hair or anything that might have fallen in. But we drink it raw. We try to refrigerate it as soon as possible because that helps with the flavor. And I'm going to feed her some alfalfa right now. Her Dottie. Dottie's our heifer calf. We didn't talk about her. But she's a Guernsey heifer calf that we're going to breed here in a couple months for another family milk cow. And I think even with the dairy going up, I'm going to keep my family milk cow here because I just love the process. I love cows. I want to be close to them. So she's going to stay with me, Miss Tulip and Dottie. Here we go. Good girl, Tulip. Out. Aye. That chicken's eating an egg, dang it. Hate that. You now I usually just wash these real fast. Wash these rags and pitchers so that we'll have it ready for tomorrow. Usually all the kids are with me, so it's kind of a more hectic milking process, but they were all playing up at the house, so this is a calm milking day today. So in the summertime I have to run up to the house and get in the refrigerator the milk because it starts to taste a little cowy if you don't get it refrigerated soon. But in the winter time you just put it in a little bit of snow and then we'll be good for a second while I feed. <laughs> this is the world's worst pitchfork but we'll give it, give it a try. What Tulip eats is a mixture of alfalfa which is this grass hay, which we, rate, we grow right here in the meadow. And then we also give her a little bit of grain. There you go, girl. I love alfalfa. When I'm pregnant, I, I like crave this stuff. I'm like out here eating it with tulip. <laughs> so very palatable. They love it. I just feel like milk animals are so cool because you get something from them every day. Whereas the meat animals, the beef cattle and the hogs, it's like a one-time harvest, but with milk animals, you, you get to spend time with them every day and reap the benefits of them every day. They're fun. It's a bit nippy out. <laughs> I will say summer milking. You're just milking out there in the sunshine, the green grass. That is fun. I'm not dreaming of summer or anything. This is fun, we love winter. I mean, look at these snow piles. This is amazing. You can come over here and see the path that Henry, Henry carved out for the front door. Woo! Watch your step. Look at that, right? This is service, right to the front door. I can hear the kids that are sledding in the backyard. Yep, there they are. They go down the hill, go over a little bump, and then right into the chain link fence. <laughs> Sometimes if you go on, a di on the next turn over, you get there, it doesn't really hurt, but if you go right here and you get enough speed, it'll hurt. Yeah, but it, it's worth it. It's way worth it. So these are gallon glass jars is what we like to keep the milk in and give it a little rinse. Draw Martha Lou. Okay. So then I just strain the milk through here. Are we close? Can't tell. Not quite, okay, good. Okay. 
get a smaller jar for the last little bit. We've done this a time or two, but it's so satisfying. This is my favorite part. Taking its time. Okay. Today's harvest. So into the fridge we go now. If there's room, that is always the question. This is yesterday's milk, the day before, the day before that. So we still got to cream these off so we can make some butter. So that is the milking process, the daily milking process with the family milk cow. We love milk cows. Milk cows are the best. So we're excited to get the dairy up and going. Obviously we won't be hand milking all of them, but it's gonna be so fun to have 150 milk cows on the farm soon. So, thanks for coming along.